Hi guys, this is Banches, and welcome back to another episode for Transport Fever. So sit back and relax and enjoy this episode. If you guys are new to my channel, go down below, smash that subscribe button. If you guys have been here before, well welcome back. I love having you guys here. And if you guys love this video, you guys know what to do. Go down below and smash that like button. So if you guys have noticed, I have been gone for about a month now. I have uh, sadly had my GPU break on me and I had to get it shipped out under warranty to be replaced. So that finally was completed. I got my GPU back and everything is running smooth now. So we are back and we are gonna continue making some more videos for you guys. Well, there you go. You can also see the barges are now slamming into each other. Some great graphics, love to see that. But we will be continuing making more videos coming up in the next couple months. We are getting back into the flow and I hope you all are gonna enjoy the videos that are coming up. I have some new content coming out. I am so excited to show you guys. So stick around. If you don't hit the notification button yet on the channel, go hit that button so you guys can be updated each time I upload a video. So let's recap what happened last time we did an episode for Transport Fever. So last time we basically went ahead and connected up a shipping channel network. So we connected up uh, basically from starting down here, going all the way up to these remaining couple cities here. We just added in a couple uh, shipping ports and also some areas where passengers can come onto the lines. So you can see going up here right now, this is kind of where everything is all situated and things are running fairly well on this line. Let's see how profitable they are. So this line 170, if we look at, where is this again? Ch charts, you can see this, financials. We were making last year $2 million, a year before we made $3 million. So we're making good money. Uh, the best part about ships, they're not very expensive to run and operate. So as long as you have a good amount of goods on the line going back and forth, you can actually make some good money from uh, shipping. So hopefully this will continue happening in the future here. We're just gonna have to see exactly how it all plays out. But currently, we're making good money and we're gonna have to balance out some of this stuff probably going forward in this episode. Now let's just show you guys how overall we are doing. Last year, 2101, we made $597 million. We almost made $600 million. That is awesome. I'm so pumped with that. We're already about halfway through the year and we're at 300, almost $350 million uh, worth of profit. Oh, we just dropped there, but we are making some solid money each year. We are gonna try to bump up that profit in this episode. We're getting close, I'd say, to the end of this series. There's not really too much more we can expand on, but we're gonna try to drive some more profits by trying to expand and add more trains to these lines here, and maybe even potentially expanding some of these cities over here. If we can expand maybe some of these cities, we can get more goods on the line, which then will increase our profits overall. You can see, for example, this area here is going absolutely nuts with uh, goods and this whole entire depot is crammed filled. So definitely trying to get more trains on the line would be good to try to lower this demand, but we're gonna have to see. I think what we're gonna start off with, first of all, let's try to get some more trains on this line here. I know last time we tried this, our profits dropped off pretty substantially. So it's definitely gonna be a touch, uh, touchy subject to try to you know get this going but I'm gonna guess get a couple trains on line one, or I think it's line 33, which that is the most profitable uh, freight line we have on this loop here. So we're just gonna go ahead and do what we normally have done. Um, nothing crazy, but just trying to get a few more cars and trains out on this line might help increase some profits for us. So let's get three more of these trains out here. And like I mentioned, we're gonna go to line uh, 31. Okay, we're gonna go to line 31 and let's get these guys out on this track right now. Hopefully that will be um, the first thing that we could do. The next thing I'm looking at is our passenger demands. The passenger trains make fairly good money for us, but we gotta make sure that we are collecting as many people as we can from our inner cities. You can see over here, it looks like this stop is definitely uh, slowing down some traffic in our inner cities here. So that's uh, not the best location I'd say for this stop. What we're gonna have to do is 
do something I think a little different here once okay there we go yeah you can see look at this this guy's like going sideways here and it's definitely impeding some of our traffic flow so what I'm thinking is if we go into here will this work if we add one of these it's gonna be probably fairly expensive just because we are going to get rid of a bunch of buildings yeah that I would like to put it like this all right we're gonna do this we're placing this right in here and what I'm gonna do is then delete these out here and then we are going to have to upgrade some of these roads here so upgrading these roads to include electrified tracks or no just normal tracks maybe mm, apparently not let's see gotta see we might have to Oof. i thought that would work all right so it looks like this is not working right now uh probably because of this so let's just delete these and let's try to upgrade this road again nope all right so i'm gonna get this situated here obviously that did not work out in our favor uh we definitely need to get that running though because this is going to be, I think, a big selling point for us. You can see right now the lines are broken. So let's just pause this here. Why is this all mixed up? Let's delete that out. Maybe this will help. Sometimes just deleting some roads out, you need to just do it just to get a... See, like, ugh, that's so annoying. That's so frustrating. I hate that. All right, let's see here. What can we do in here? So these roads are running... Are they electrified? They are. Yes. So you can see here, it looks like this does not want to go in. All right, so that's going to be an issue. And that's also an issue. So let's delete that out. We're going to delete out, I think. Let's delete that. We're going to delete this too. We're going to kind of make a little overhaul here of this downtown-ish area. Let's see if this will work out. So we're gonna take now the road, we're gonna continue it over to here, which obviously that's not working. Okay, do we have any buildings here? We have one building here that might get in the way. Okay, so we're gonna put that in like that, and let's upgrade that road. That's good. All right, so that's need to be upgraded as well. So yeah, you can see here, there's a few things that are gonna need to be upgraded to make this work. So let's see, will this connect? Nope, that's too short, okay. So let's delete that. That's the cheapest one to delete. And let's see here. We're going to try to curve this nicely. There we go. And now will this hook up? This does not want to hook in. Hmm. All right. Probably because of that. So let's delete that. Delete that. And now let's try to run this somehow down here. That could work. Let's accept that. Okay, cool. So we're getting a few things going in this area here. We're going to try to, I think, make a more customized city in this location here. Just because uh, this is, was our first city that we built. And I think overall, this could definitely be a good uh, expansion for us going forward. So let's definitely get some of these road networks going, I'd say, more efficiently. So I'm going to go ahead and get some of these roads set up in here. Once the road network is set up, I'll be back with you guys to show you what's the final product of the upgrade for our road network in our original city. I'll be back with you guys in a few more minutes. Okay, guys, and I am back. And we went ahead and really uh, changed up a lot in this city here. We had to go ahead and delete an awful lot of the buildings and kind of reorganize a lot of the streets to get this to work out the way I kind of want this to go. Overall, I'm actually really, really happy of how this turned out. And I'll show you guys kind of more or less the way we went around organizing the whole entire uh, city layout. So over in here now, we have the new tram set up here. So for now, the trams are going around more or less the outskirt here of the city. And all the roads here are upgraded to the largest six lane uh, kind of highway roads. And the best part about it is they do have the trams on it, but it is allowing for traffic to flow a lot quicker through the centers of our city. You can even see here, I've upgraded the centers here of the city 
to include these larger roads and everything is moving a lot quicker so there's no traffic anymore piling up in this city and overall it is running way better so that is the first thing that i did currently this is not very profitable because we deleted about 500 uh people that were living in the city uh, we had to do that in order to build these roads and upgrade all the roads we also went ahead and reorganized all of our distribution for our freight coming into our city so what we did if you open up all this here we went ahead we put one central hub right here in the center of the city which this one goes over to the depot that is going to be coming from our freight area uh, off of our freight lines so trucks will bring freight into this depot here and then from this depot here it's going to be distributed out to the remainder of the city we have some freight areas over here we also then have some more depots over here and then lastly a depot back here with hopefully the idea that this will encourage more growth of industrial and also commercial goods in some of these areas so if we open this up currently you can see right here we have a bunch of industrial goods that are hoarded around this or this commercial goods that are hoarded here we also have over here a bunch of um, industrial goods because of where the freight line is located i'm hoping with the way this is set up you can see over here we do have a few industries popping up it's also same thing over in here hopefully we'll get some uh industries and also commercial popping up here in the back and we'll have to see how this all works out this is kind of a new idea of trying to expand a city outwards Hopefully this works out. This will definitely take a while to do. I'm predicting probably 20 or so years to grow this back into a major metropolitan city. You can see right in here right now we are down. Uh, okay, so this actually already went up 200 people since I finished deleting everything. This was at 1,500. Now we're up to 1,700. And you can see our jobs are going crazy. You can also see the same thing with our... Uh, shipping facilities which is technically the commercial goods so overall going pretty good in the new city the last thing I added also in here was a bus route uh, this one bus route I added is right here and this bus route basically just goes down the center of the city here trying to pick up anyone who is um, living in the center locations of the city and then distributing them outwards to the tram lines so hopefully that will work out well too we'll have to see how that goes into the future and then the last uh bus line i also put was a bus line going over to here and just extending over to here to see if we actually can grow any commercial residential or so, something like that over in this area here and also allowing people to get into the work uh zones over here so we'll have to see how this goes overall i personally think so far this is a cool little setup but who knows we'll have to see how this works and if it continues to grow this city over here is definitely probably the next city we'll want to maybe look into. Um, you can see that it's not really too busy traffic wise. And if you go into the actual stats of the city, so we're around 2000 population, around 2000 jobs, also around 2000 worth of uh, shopping centers in this city too. So we might leave this one currently how it is and just try to work on moving goods more. Just because currently these goods are not flowing as well as I'd like. You can see a lot of them are starting to pile up and we need to distribute these out to uh, some locations here. So that's what we're gonna work on right now. More or less, this is gonna just involve putting more trucks onto these lines here. So it's just gonna be a quick little uh, go at it. And when I'm done with this, I'll be back with you guys. Okay guys, I am back. We have leveled this out, added a few more just trucks into this line right in here just to get things trying to get brought down a little bit just because this uh, amount of goods that are getting in here are pretty high. I had an idea here. So I know I mentioned to you guys that I want to hit that $1 billion worth of profit in a single year. We've been definitely struggling trying to get there. And the next logical point for me to think of is to make the trains longer to try to get more profit out of each load we carry. So the next thought for me is if we're going to do that, we should have to make these stations longer. So if you look, for example, we'll just go down here to this station here. All of these freight lines, they can get extended out to 400 meters. So basically extending out another about mm, 60... 80 meters we can get potentially four more cars onto our trains and those four cars can range from many different types we can either put four box cars we can put four 
uh, gondolas, we could put four steak cars or four oil tankers. Or if we want, we could just split it up between all of them, add one more to each of the trains. So this definitely could help us bring in more profit overall. So I think this might be our next best logical way to go about trying to bring in more profit. So what we're going to try to do is we are going to go around on this upper loop that we originally started on, the OG upper loop, and we are going to extend all of our freight lines out to 400 uh, meters. Our passenger lines, we don't need to worry about them. Our passenger trains are running perfectly fine. There's not much more we can do right now for them. So instead of trying to extend our passenger trains, we're just going to concentrate on our freight trains right now. And that will help us hopefully add more trains on, not more trains, more cars onto the, each freight train. And hopefully we'll extend our profit. So let's get into that right now. This is definitely going to be another big undertaking. So we're going to have to start. Let's pause this. I'm going to have to go into here and let's start deleting out some tracks that are just in front of uh, each one of these stations here. This will hopefully give us just enough room to start running a few trains into these stations that are going to be a little bit longer in the future. So that hopefully will be enough. Now this station here, like I mentioned, we're going to go here, 400 meters. Boom. Let's apply that. Perfect. So that made that station definitely longer. Let's see. Yeah, we could definitely still run tracks underneath here. Perfect. And we just then basically have to rehook everything back up. Just kind of like extending what we uh, originally had. Whoops, do not want to hit play. Okay, there we go. Perfect. And that's going to rehook in. This will rehook in. And then we're just going to do the same thing with these freight lines over here. This will just hopefully uh, get us to that next level that we want to try to make that goal for our profit. Cool. So that's hooked up. We're going to delete that out. And then we can just do the same thing here. Just boom, like that, and like that. These trains are not coming in here very fast, so I don't mind doing that. So yeah, that's going to be the extension of our... Uh, Freight lines, you can see here about how long it's added on this side and how long is added on this side here. So we're definitely gonna have to go around to each one of these stations and do this. This is going to definitely take, uh, a, I'd say a good amount of time to definitely complete because this is not gonna be a, a quick little project. But like I said, with every good little project, hopefully this will bring in more profit and bring in more profit for us means more money. And that's what we're trying to do here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start going around on the outsides, deleting out some stuff and adding in some new uh, lines, basically just trying to get everything expanded and trying to get this going for a uh, future run for us. So when I am more or less done with this, I will get back to you guys and I'll show you guys what the end project was. Okay guys, and we are back. We went ahead and we actually upgraded every single one of these freight lines on this loop here. So basically now each one of these routes has a 400 meter long station, which is awesome. You can see they're definitely fairly long. We could definitely fit a good amount of extra cars on here now. So that's what we're gonna be doing here. So the first line, let's go ahead and do it. The max total feet now we could do is up to 1,312 feet. So that's a pretty good uh, distance overall. So let's see what we want to actually add and how many more cars we can actually add on here. I'm hoping maybe four box cars. Yeah, four box cars would basically just get us directly at where we want to go. Now the whole point is we just need to reorganize and reshuffle all of this to get everything where we need it to be. So that's kind of more or less now what we're going to try to do here. Hopefully we'll uh, get this all situated and then we can start upgrading some of our uh, lines here. And then once we get these lines kind of upgraded, we'll definitely be able to get a lot of new things rolling. That is very important. So let's get this upgraded. There we go. And... Perfect. So this is now going to be our new trains. Let's replace all. Our total replacement is $721 million. Wow, that's a lot of money. But screw it. It's worth it. We're going for it. So we're going to do that line first. And then we're also going to do this secondary line here. Um, I think this line will also be... I think this line will also definitely help out from the expansion 
of basically doing all this to these lines. So we just gotta go ahead and make sure this is all gonna be uh, set up properly just so we can get the trains running here. Definitely gonna be cool. I'm hoping that, you know, this will be definitely a good upgrade for us, but you know, we're gonna have to see here. Perfect, there you go. So now this is also upgraded and this is gonna cost us $316 million. So let's do that also. Now all of these lines should be upgraded. You can see how long this one train is right here. That is a quite a long train. They're definitely gonna be a little bit slower now getting up to speed. But hopefully, let's see here. Definitely, uh, we should get a lot more, I'd say, materials being picked up in here. Where are some goods? All right, so that did not pick up everything that time. But let's see here. There should be a train in one of these stations here. This guy just left. He picked up 180 food. Awesome. I think having these boxcars are going to be a huge upgrade for our line because our boxcars definitely are going to have more opportunity to pick up goods such as this area here has a ridiculous amount of goods um there's not too too many areas i'd say that we wanted to get extra state cars and extra uh what is it not state cars yeah state cars and oil tankers because you know over here we can get some state cars over here we can get state cars with oil tank is here and oil tank on the other side but you know majority of stuff like food is here that goes into it let's see what else we have here in here i believe yeah, there are tools that are being made in here that eventually hopefully will come out. You can see there are some tools here. So boxcars will be good for there. Obviously boxcars are good for this. So much for boxcars right over here. So yeah, definitely I think upgrading those boxcars is the way to go for us. Hopefully that will get us a good amount of money. We are definitely going to be losing money though this year. Let's see here. Yeah, we are, uh, wow, we spent $1.9 billion last year or uh, currently this year, just to get um, all these trains and everything out on this line. So that is definitely a big, big upgrade. We're gonna have to see how this goes. I'm hoping this will get more food moving on the lines. Hopefully get this city also growing even more, because uh, let's see here. You can kind of see here how everything has grown a little bit. And overall, we are back up to 1900 uh, population in here. So that's definitely growing quickly. And these have already grown about, this has grown 400 and this has grown uh, an awful lot amount in here so good overall let's hope this keeps growing i'm gonna let this uh run just a little bit to see how these trains actually uh work out you can go into here the line and let's go to financing you can see they were making money constantly besides uh was it 2016 definitely losing money that's more or less probably due to us upgrading all the lines and all the trains being backwards and having to reorganize the trains to go in the correct direction which is fine cool one year worth of negative income i'm fine with that i'm hoping though this year right here we're seeing i'm hoping 80 maybe not 80 million if we get 70 million dollars i'll be happy with that upgrade i think that will be good just to cushion some more of these profits a little bit more so let's see how that works out and um, i'm gonna let this run just a little bit just to get maybe one or two years in here just to get the income running uh, so we can get kind of a, a good baseline to see how it goes i'll be back with you guys in a few more minutes Okay, guys, and a quick update for you guys on how Line 31 is now actually operating. You can see right here, um, we are now making over $100 million um, currently this year. So if we go under vehicles, obviously you can see now we have 10 cars here, everything else is the same how we used to be. But um, yeah, things are definitely running, I think, a little bit better off than how it was before. You can see here our lines currently through the year is already making around $52 million, it says right here, which uh, is about almost where it was this time uh, last year. So we're definitely, I'm thinking, making some good money here. You can see overall what our total income is, and it is definitely moving along here. I'm guessing this is more of what it's estimating the final number is going to be. Uh, if that's correct, then awesome. We're definitely moving up in uh, the value here. So let's see how this actually ends up for this year. It'll be kind of interesting to see. The other line that we have on here is line 142. So let's see how that is, line 142. It's going to be all the way here at the bottom. Line 142. So we are losing money on line 142, which I'm not entirely surprised. Um, you go under vehicles, yeah, it's set up the same way. 
But overall, this line has just not been very profitable for us. Line 142, if you go under here, there's not many areas where goods are actually being transferred to the line. I don't know if there's a specific way I could maybe delegate to split the goods exactly between them or something, but right now, it, you could just see even here, like line 142, uh, there's like barely anything on the line here. Um, also over here, there's probably a decent amount here. Yeah, there's, there's a decent amount. It's just nowhere near what line 31 is producing. Um, and line 31 is just really moving along really well for us. That's actually not bad in here. I could uh, attempt by trying to add more trains onto the line. We have the money. We might as well screw around, I guess, a little bit with it and see. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let's see how that actually ends up working. If it doesn't work out, well, we'll sell the trains. I'm going to try to ramp up this line, I think, a little bit more with some... Uh, freight trains for line 31 also, just because uh, it looks like we could definitely move a few more goods and moving a few more goods is always a good thing. Our trains overall, let's see here, how are they stacked up? They don't look like they are super, super full. Yeah, depending where they are, they're not entirely super full. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe getting a few more trains out there might help, I don't know. Let's just give it a shot here. Just trying to uh, make this episode a little interesting for you guys. So I'm going to get some trains out here. I'll let you know how many trains we add. And I'll show you guys the end result if it works out, if not. And then from there, we'll go uh, from there. I'll be back with you guys. Okay, guys. And I am back. We're going to finish up this episode right now. So the one thing that I went ahead and did, I really went ahead and upgraded and added a few more trains onto line 31. Basically adding those few trains definitely picked up uh, more goods and definitely helped drive some more uh, profits for us. You can see here we're up to now about 100, 105, around $80 million uh, per year for this one uh, freight line, which is really good. I'm really happy to see that. The other thing I ended up doing was I took off all the other trains that were originally online. I think it was, yeah, line 142 because we were just losing so much money at this point. I decided that we're going to just cut our losses, get rid of it, move on to uh, just putting all the trains onto the other line. That really helped overall. And you can see last year, our total profit was $839 million, which we're now getting very close, I would say, to our $1 billion profit overall. So yeah, we're uh, definitely moving along here and hopefully next episode, we'll be able to do the same exact process on one of our lower loops to try to drive more profit in that area as well. So that's going definitely very well. So once again, guys, my name is Banches and I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Transport Fever. If you all enjoyed this episode of Transport Fever, like always, you guys know what to do. Go down below, hit that subscribe button, like the video and leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking about uh, the series. And you know, now that I'm officially finally back and we can uh, keep getting some more videos out, let me know what you guys would like to see. So yeah, if you guys are also not following me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, go give me a follow. The links are in the description below. And on that note, guys, we are gonna end today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Transport Fever, and I will see all of you in the next episode. See you all later.